Hi, how are you all? I'm doing great, thank you. Oh, okay, awesome, thank you. She's taking it very seriously. Good. Oh, it's nice in here. <laughs> wow. We couldn't do it without the fans. No, it is crazy out there, though. It sure is. Oh, I love your shoes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. show you what I found. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, I got a few of these out of the 25 cents box, those okay. and then this guy right here. Please do a dollar for everything. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then I would love to take a water, please. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the bag no very problem. much. There's your dollar. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's perfect. Y'all have a lovely day. Hello. How are you all? Very well. Thank you. Can I ask how much your shoes are? Um, those, all the ones on the table are five dollars. Okay. Pretty new. Gotcha. That works for me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> most, most people will think it's like a little toddler. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> any less on the Christmas dish? It's marked at 10. Oh, uh, what about 8? That would work for me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Would you mind if I pop it down over That's there? Fine. Thank you. I'll, I'll let you pop it where it. you want to. <laughs> I'll hold it because I don't want to. Absolutely. Me. Thank you. These Nikes actually comped out at around $70 to $80 pre-owned and about $300 brand new. They had like an American flag design, which was really cool. However, this pair was definitely pre-owned and she was asking a little bit more than I would be able to pay How to make any money shoes? off of them. Um, what 
looking for? Um, I'm looking at the sneakers and then I haven't looked at anything They're fine. else. $50. $50 for these? Okay, thank you. So I left these ones behind. Look at that. I don't want to knock your McDonald's that over. <laughs> Thank you. That thing is, is it? Oh, wow. Well. Is that okay to have a look? Thank yes. you. Oh, gotcha. I'll let you do it just so I don't mess it up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. If that's okay, I'd like to take it as well, please. Thank you. That's good. Thanks for showing me. I think I'm ready if that's okay. Okay, you'll Thank you. 33. All righty. You get these as well? Yes. Okay. Do you happen to have a 10 back if I give you 43? Okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I just don't want to take you ones. <laughs> You're not. I've got plenty. All right, good. Uh, 30. 30? Mm hmm. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just sitting no, here. No, you're office. fine. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, thank you. For the lawn steps a little more. Gotcha. Are your shoes a dollar as well? They're two dollars. Two dollars? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. What is it? Is that a camera? I film myself treasure hunting, like the things I find yeah. as I pick them up. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I, I love it. I love do to treasure hunt. I do, I do YouTube. Like most of my house is secondhand. I just love finding things like uh, pre-used mm -hmm. or whatever. So <laughs> well, that's really Yeah, cool. I think it's really fun. I it's was a trying to figure out how much it looks like a camera. Yeah, it's it's a fun way to do it, yeah. You never quite know what you'll find. You've got a pair of shoes okay. and a pillow. Three bucks. Yeah. All right. Can't make that. No, shoes, you can't. What a you deal. Know how, do you know how much those shoes are? I do not are? know. How much? They're about $70 shoes. They're really? from Dillard's, yeah. They're, They're really very neat. comfortable. But I can't wear heels anymore. Yeah. Dillard's is where they sell that brand. That, that is, is awesome. super cool. Do you have a couple yeah. of bucks back? Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it very welcome. much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are y'all? Sorry. <laughs> Three dollars. Three dollars. Oh, did you see this as well? How much is that? A dollar? Uh, yeah, dollar. Dollar. Four dollars. Gotcha. Oh, thank you so much. There you go. Oh, you We're buying something with uh, stickers. Oh my yeah. goodness, really? Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's oh, super cool. Nice. <laughs> so, how hard is that? <laughs> Don't mind these. Come on. Thank you all so much. Have a nice day. All right, you guys, welcome to the haul where I show you what I picked up at today's yard sales. 
Apologies again for being on my garage floor. As I tell you in most videos, at this point in yard sale season, I'm inundated with inventory and this is all the space I have to work with. So bear with me. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start over here first. This is a yard sale I've actually been to um, before, probably only like a month or two ago. Um, but when I realized I was at one that I'd visited earlier, um, I decided to take a peek anyway. I'd gotten a bag there for I think $5 and that sold really quickly for 25. It was like an 80 style bag. So I thought, well, maybe there'll be some more fast flips hiding here and I'm glad that I did her prices were a little on the higher end to what I would like to spend and to be fair there were some items that I just couldn't pay for for instance there was a pair of Nikes that would have sold pre-owned for around I think it was like 70 to 80 but she was asking 50 so obviously I couldn't do that for a flip and um, however if they had been brand new I would have paid it in a heartbeat because the last pair that was like that that sold in brand new condition sold for like $330 so just an FYI if you see Nikes like you just saw in the video here uh, make sure that you double check their condition because they may be one to grab um okay so let's start with these two sweaters i'm somewhat picky with vintage clothing however these are full of shoulder pads and embellishment and they absolutely scream 1980s and they are both dead stock pieces with the tags still on them they were five dollars a piece i think the style alone will sell them i don't think they're going to be fast flips by any means but i do think someone out there will want these dead stock 80s beauties all right i also grabbed from there a like new or i would say probably new a uh, pair of vintage I don't know, gloves, like faux fur lined gloves. They're made in Taiwan. They scream 1970s to me. I don't know what you all think, but I've sold gloves many, many times, vintage ones, and I thought these were super cute. Paid $5 for these vans. The prices are kind of all over the place, but these are in really, really like gently used condition. I do need to take a Mr. Eraser around the side just to brighten this up to make them nice and white and clean again. That won't take any time at all. And honestly, I paid $5. I think I can get around 35 to 40 for these. And then I have these two pieces she made me a deal on this and let me have this for eight dollars uh i do like the brand spode this is usually pretty expensive and some pieces can be really really sought after if you ever find the spode disney collaborations those can do really really nicely um but the only reason i got these two pieces i'll show you what i got i got the round covered deep dish obviously both christmas pieces and the ribbons square platter is because they are both brand new in the box so i'm hoping to get around 40 for this just looking at what's listed and what the last one sold for obviously we are out of season for christmas so it's a little hard to rely on the comps right this moment since they're only for the last like 90 days or so but i'm going to aim for around 40 for this piece and probably around the same for this piece as well all right one pair of shoes from one yard sale just because they are in fantastic condition again the brand is joseph Siebel. and um, i have sold these before they are a as you can see a european comfort shoe um they don't do phenomenally not as well as things like dance goes and stuff like that but uh they do okay and i paid two dollars for these and hopefully i can get anywhere from 25 to sort of 35 or so Funnily enough, at that sale, there was a couple of other pairs of shoes. Like, I think they were born shoes that I was looking at because they were in light new condition, but I only ever found one of each. I never did find a pair, so go figure. <laughs> And I did grab this as well. This is a vintage piece, technically, because it's from 2001, which kind of blows my mind. Um, and it is a light sculpture like Holly and Berries. It's for inside and outside. It's in its original packaging. I do need to test it out still. Uh, but I paid, I think, all of $2 for that. And I couldn't find any exact ones like this. But other things from the brand Merry Bright, the other Impact Light Sculptures, um, seemed to be doing okay. And in fact, some of the just like light sets alone by this brand that were vintage was selling quite nicely for like $30 or so so definitely worth taking a chance on all right and then this yard sale this was one of my favorites just because of the absolute surprise that I found there so I paid a dollar for everything here and um, I will go ahead and take this out immediately it's just a little disposable sort of raincoat I like to keep those in the car in case I break down and I have to do something in the rain <laughs> so everything else that's left here is 25 cents a piece this guy here I can't remember his 
name now i'm going to put it up here so you can see exactly uh, what his name is he is a vintage jemmy piece that is g-e-m-m-y if you find anything by jemmy it is worth stopping and taking a look and if it's halloween uh, it's almost always worth grabbing they can be really really sought after and seen as collectibles this is definitely a vintage guy um and i haven't tested him out yet i do have to do that it took a chance for a quarter uh, but if he works hopefully that's around 20 to 25 just there on him we have a 90 1995 Hunchback of Notre Dame Esmeralda doll. She is the sort of plush bodied doll. Uh, the actual sort of Barbie doll version of her does better usually, but this one here should sell for around 15. I've got no idea who this is and I would love for somebody to help me. I grabbed her because her outfit was just so very retro. And this I cannot believe that this is worth what it's worth. So 25 cents right here. Her tag says Big Comfy 1995. I believe that she is a Molly doll and her solds are anywhere from like 50 all the way up to 100. Now there's a few marks like on her top and stuff like that. I am going to go ahead and do what I usually do with my plush and give them a really, really good warm water and Dawn dish soap clean. Um, and I think that she will end up looking brilliant once I'm done with her and I'm hoping to list her pretty darn high. And for a quarter, I cannot believe it. I'm so excited to get her sold all right you guys thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sales as always if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out on the channel and of course if you want to come along with me to more yard sales then please go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell notification so you never miss a video all right you guys i'll catch you in the next one bye